Today, police are trying to figure out what's behind a triple homicide in Farmington. Just before 930 last night, officers were called to the 5400 block of 183rd Street West to check on the welfare of a person visiting the home. That's when they found the victims and a man they would later arrest. John Lordson was there today to speak with friends and neighbors about what happened. All I know is what's on the news right now. That's all I know. Quinton Bow arrived at this home on 183rd Street looking for answers. His friend who lives here hasn't responded to any of his calls or text messages. And Quinton's worried he may be the victim of a homicide. It hurts. I see his car sitting there. I, I, don't, I don't know if he's okay or not. I can't get a hold of him. I don't, I don't know what to think right now. When police responded to a welfare check for a person visiting the home Wednesday night, they found three adults dead inside. Another man at the scene was taken to the Dakota County Jail, where he remains in custody. Police Chief Gary Rutherford says this is not a random incident. There's no threat to the public, and they are not looking for additional suspects. Investigators were on scene for about 13 hours, working through the night before leaving around 10:30 Thursday morning. My wife just seen some lights, so we um, we just looked out the window and we just thought it was a cop car, maybe a disturbance or something. Joseph Rubin lives just a couple houses away from the townhome where the homicides occurred. He went to bed Wednesday night, not knowing why so many police cars were on his street. On Thursday morning, yeah. he learned why. I'm pretty sad, that's for sure. It's a sentiment echoed by his neighbor, yeah. Ethan Gonzi. It's pretty quiet, you know, normal stuff, you know, day, but I just had no idea like something like this would happen. In Farmington, John Lordson, WCCO 4 News. The Farmington police and the BCA are calling this an active investigation.